an underwater tropical forest. The coral reefs of the South China Sea are part of a unique biome, and they are at risk of disappearing. For the past decade, Chinese scientists have been monitoring the coral habitat. This is one of the nurseries they are pinning their hopes on. There are numerous factors killing the corals, like the climate, algae, starfish, and overfishing, as well as island development. Their survival rate can be as low as only one percent during the early period of baby corals. Our job is to increase their chances to survive and sustain. Zhang Yang shows us their latest project. They collect natural fertilized ova and attach them to construction material. It takes one year to grow just one centimeter. Rehabilitation is the only method for restoration, one that takes time and money. The biggest challenge is to understand the whole ecosystem. From what we have learned, there has been a rapid loss of the coral reef habitat in the South China Sea, and in some areas, coral cover has just about vanished, and the trend continues. That's why restoration is crucial. We first met Zhang Yuyang two years ago. At that time, he was waiting for the baby corals to grow. Last year, these corals were transplanted just offshore the Xisha Islands, also known as the Paracels. It's a difficult task, and the significance is beyond symbolic. The transplanting of corals will help speed up the restoration of surrounding corals. This will certainly take some 10 to 20 years, but it might take 50 years or even 100 years to recover on their own. We got a chance to follow Zhang Yuyang's team on a transplanting operation. Everything must be done by hand, underwater. They say the loss of new corals will not only put the existing reefs under threat, but also threaten the existence of the reefs themselves in the long run. This is the same method they used in the Xishas. Zhang Yang says the best restoration is preservation. He dreams coral will once again thrive in the South China Sea. I really want to see one area of corals recover from dying through my work, to grow. I wish the corals we transplanted in the South China Sea to be surrounded with fish and other living creatures. That kind of happiness is beyond any words. He will continue his underwater rescue mission. No matter how tough the way ahead, or how rough the waters. Habin, CCTV.